Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Felicia, just in case you're new here. I create content around fashion, lifestyle, sewing, and DIYs. So if you're interested in any of these things, please do well to click on that subscribe button and join this gang, okay? I create simple and well-explained sewing tutorials, just in case you're a newbie. And yeah, if you're interested in sewing vlogs and everyday live vlogs as well, please do well to click on that subscribe button and keep up with this tailor life of mine. My returning subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to watch this video. Today's video, you guys can really tell I'm excited because sitting down right beside me here is a brother tabletop sewing machine and I'm going to be unboxing this sewing machine in this video, okay? Yeah. So I'm excited to open this box. I can't wait to see what's inside the box and I, I can't also wait to use it and you know, let's just do this together. If you're interested in seeing what's inside this box and how this machine performs and also you want to know how much I bought the sewing machine, please do well to continue watching, okay? <music> First off, the brother sewing machine is a tabletop sewing machine and from the box here we can see that this is the um, model number of this brother sewing machine. So it's JK17B brother sewing machine. <laughs> Okay guys, so I just opened up this box and right on top I got I saw this inside. I'm going to be opening it up and now we're going to be going through what's inside this uh, ziplock bag. And this is the manual. As always, there's always a manual in the sewing machines. And yeah, let's just dive straight into this baby right here. So this is the pedal of this tabletop machine. This is a pedal. So I'm going to be using to control this the speed of the machine and this is the actual sewing machine. This thing just looks like a toy. <laughs> it looks like a toy sewing machine, but like it's just enough. It's just um, a basic tabletop sewing machine, and I feel like it's going to be really, really handy for a beginner. But yeah, just a beginner who is sewing little, little things. But as you grow as a fashion designer or a seamstress or whatever it, the case may be. You probably need to upgrade, but yeah, I'm going to be. Let's so let's focus on this first, okay? So I guess all these things are in place. Just keep everything in place and nothing breaks off. And yeah, so that's the lever right behind it to lift this up. Let's take this off as well. Okay. This one is quite different, but let's see. I don't know what I guess this is meant for something, but I will go through the manual and yeah, also let you guys know exactly what's going on here. Well, I'm also going to, I'm also like trying to figure out the same machine because I've not used this um, particular model of tabletop before <clears throat> okay so um this is the sewing machine and um right here is the plug where the, um, the where the pedal is going to be connected to inside here i have the pedal and it has both the um plug that goes into the sewing machine which is this one and the electric plug the one that's going to go into the wall so this is it i'm just going to take this out because i'm going to be using this very soon however in this clear bag we have um some extra um 
tools that we're going to be using with, to work with this machine. So this one right here is a buttonhole footer. It's used to make buttonholes. This one right here. I got some extra needles in here. Then I got some bobbin. So yeah, I have three bobbins in this one. Hold on. So yeah, so these are the bobbins. This is what it looks like. And I have three of them in this bag. This one here, right here, looks like a screwdriver. I think this is all we use to like open up in case you need to change the needle or whatever screws that you need to open up. I think this is what we're going to be using. Yeah, it's a screwdriver, a tiny one. And also we have um, this. I think this is a hemming foot. I'm not quite sure. If you know what this is, let me know. But I think it's a hemming foot from the way it looks. Looks like it's going to be used for hemming. I'm not quite sure, but I'm going to figure that out. This one here looks like a, a zipper foot. Yeah? Yes or no? It looks like a zipper foot. Now, this last one, I really cannot tell what it is. Like, I don't know what this is. Let me know in the comment section if you know what this is. Let me know, okay? Let's dis let me discover this machine with you guys, just in case you already know. Let me know what this, what this is. I don't know what it is. I'm going to check the manual also. I just hope the manual is in English because <laughs> I got one... Um, my industrial machine was, came in another language. I couldn't even figure out what was written there. Okay, so in the structure manual, I have the threading guide right here. So yeah, it's pretty going. It's going to be straightforward using this guide. I think I have an idea how to thread this. But I'll still have to go through the manual just to be extra sure. This one is in Chinese. Let's keep that aside. Oh, the whole manual is in Chinese. Like, how do I understand <laughs> what's happening here? Like, it's all written in Chinese. I just plugged it into electricity and I'm just um, connecting the plug into right here. Turning it on and um, there's a switch over right here as well. I'm going to be putting that on. As you can already see, that there's a light. I'm going, to, I'm going to bring you closer, but there's a light coming through from here so you can see what it is that you're doing, okay? So right here, we have the bobbin bobbin holder. The good thing about this one is that it doesn't need a bobbin case, so you just have to reel your bobbin. There's even a natural, there's another bobbin inside here. So I have four in total that came with this sewing machine. So I'm going to reel this bobbin and thread my machine and run it to just have a feel, okay? Well, this is a closer view. This is a closer view of the machine. It has 17 stitches, as you can see here. So this first, this first stitch here is for the button holes. This first stitch here is for the button holes, two, three, four, and five as zigzag stitches. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven are straight stitches, as you can see, and twelve is a zig, zig, zigzag straight. <laughs> From looking at it, you can tell the kind of stitch you get. This one is a zigzag stitch, but it's, um, it has like broken lines. And this one right here is also a zigzag stitch, but it's just different functions. So th this these stitches can be actually be used to create like, sorry, these stitches, this um, 12, 13, for 12 to 17 can be used to create like embroidery designs, like minimal ones. And I don't know what this is and the manual I, d I don't know what this is meant for is it to increase the speed or to reduce the speed if you know what this is meant for let me know I'm going to also go on YouTube to go check to find out more about this since the manual is not in English I won't be able to understand that and this is the reverse stitch button yeah so I want to go ahead to reel the thread. Oh yeah, and this is our tension. So tighten or loosen as the case may be. But I'm going to be leaving it exactly where it is to just see what the stitch is going to be like. Also down here is all uh, is um the instruction for passing the bobbin, how to pass the bobbin in once it is reeled. So I'm going to go ahead and yeah, this is the 
this is the spindle i think that's what it's called this is spindle and this is where the thread is going to be put on and yeah i'm going to be passing my thread along with this line so let's just continue watching okay that's okay for now so guys just from using this machine i am and also been using my industrial machine like comparing this to actually this same machine is definitely definitely for a beginner because it's it's sl a slow um it's slower definitely it's not as fast as the industrial sewing machine so a beginner would like to use this to start so that you know it doesn't fly off <laughs> while you're sewing but it's um, actually gives really nice stitches like I'll show you guys close up but well, the stitches are really nice and i went ahead to do to change the functions around just so that i see what the stitches look like and yeah um so far i like what i like how it works it's slow which um, I, I might not really be a fan of but it just does the work it does the job especially if you're a beginner and yeah if you just need an extra handy sewing machine to go around with it's definitely what the box definitely definitely but i can't really say for now until i've used it for a while and then maybe i'll probably do another review but this is definitely a good one if you're a beginner and it's actually not expensive i checked on amazon and it goes for 99 dollars but i bought it in nigeria for 60,000. even though like the person i bought it from is at lagos island and he's my regular customer <laughs> i always buy from him all the time so he gave me so he gave me a discount but yeah if you like to get that detail let me know in the comment section and i will definitely give you his number okay so yeah you can bargain there it actually goes for sixty thousand naira and yeah to more sewing adventures i can carry my sewing machine and you know go out and about and do great things <laughs> but yeah i love the sewing machine i love the color as well it's just you know it's cute it looks like a toy sewing machine but it's actually very very sturdy and it does the job this is the stitch this is the um stitch on 11 so this is what it was on when the sewing machine came and this is how tight they are the stitches are rather and um these ones right here are the zigzag the um special function ones like this last one here this last one here is 13 this and the one just after 13 is so this is 13 you can see smaller and then increase at this point this one right here is um 16 and then this last one as you can see i'm sure you can guess take a guess what, what is this this last one guess leave me the guess in the comment section <laughs> all right so um okay something else i needed to show you guys close up was putting in this my ruler so i put i fixed in the thread i just followed the guide it's pretty straightforward on this machine but looking from here you'd see that there is a tick and there's a fail sign or a wrong sign so you have to put the thread to go in this direction so putting the thread into the bobbin bobbin holder the thread has to be going in this direction like going in this direction so i have to put it in this way and take it across to this metal thing here it looks like a hook okay let's get this out of the way this hook right here i don't know if you can see it but there's a hook right here can you see it just right here i'm going to take that through it like this and yeah and this is a cutter so if you want to cut off thread after sewing i can just use this to cut yep cut the thread all right guys so that brings us to the end of this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have other sewing machine content you like me to film like film my industrial machine my in my industrial sewing machine or industrial weaving machine i would like to show you guys how it works let me know in the comment section and i'll do that video but yeah this tabletop sewing machine is actually a very very sturdy one i got referred about uh, um referred by my friend to get this one when i wanted to get one 
and yeah i didn't want to get anything too technical because for me it's a waste i rather i would rather buy industrial sewing machines because i want to expand more but i got this because i need something i can use on the go like to amend stuff like when i'm not at home and that's why i got this one and yeah it's definitely worth the buy it's it's good for the price and i think it's actually worth it but we would know as time goes on how st how durable it is i can't really tell for now but yeah, I would, would I recommend it for a beginner? Yes. Would I recommend it for someone who wants to have something to use on the go? Yes, definitely yes. And would I recommend it for someone who wants something very techy? No. <laughs> this machine is just a basic tabletop sewing machine. So if you want something more techy, I'll leave a picture on the screen. That's one I actually wanted to go for, but I looked at it as was there really a need for it i don't think so i don't really need 70 stitches i might still get it later in the future but for now that's not my immediate need i'd rather buy more industrial sewing machines but if you need something more techy definitely go for this one i'm going to leave it on the screen i can't remember the model but i'm going to pull it up from um, amazon and i'll leave it on the screen that one is almost 200 dollars that's 199 dollars thereabouts and yeah and there are so many other ones like that if you want a techy techy tabletop sewing machine do well to check them out on Amazon. So if you enjoyed watching this, please don't forget to give this video a like and share this video to your sewing friends, okay? Or people who just like to have stuff like this. I'm going to be ending this video as I've said before. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Leave me comments in the comment section. What you any questions in general or any requests in general? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll be back to film it, okay? Take care and remain fabulous as always. Bye.